going on YouTube universe welcome back to part two of the consignment auction in Jersey on auction life um, when last we left you got to see what was here um, I went through this place with you showed you some footage um, you were seeing it for the first time as was I I did not look any of the pictures I figured I'd go into it blind knew there was an auction today figured what the heck let's just go see what they got uh, the place is really starting to fill up now we're getting ready to start um, just a little update when you watch the first half you'll see a lot of the artwork that is in here uh, I did google the artist's name and the auctioneer made two statements in the previous episode that I told you about he said she was an accomplished artist and she had a Smithsonian exhibit and he was correct on both counts however when you have a Smithsonian exhibit you are you um, basically submit as many pieces of art as you can they may choose one they may choose them all they may choose none so I think they picked like three or four of hers and they were put in the exhibit and there's probably 150 pictures here so I doubt the three or four that are in the that were actually in the Smithsonian on display are in here some of them are a little macabre they kind of have like guts and interior organs and yucky stuff um, I am going to try and pick up perhaps one or two of the less macabre looking pictures and then see if we can do something with them maybe in the booth or online but they're going to be a little tough to ship ship because they're big they're bulky plus they're glass i don't want them to break in shipping so transporting them is going to be a little tricky um this episode i will show you some of the actual auction itself i will show you me bidding on some stuff and some more hijinks and i think that's about it so we bet we better get out of this truck and we better go buy some stuff because it's time for the auction. Let's go. Lot six, Scott. You got like a little baker's rack here. The shelves fall over. It's good, like you do with shows and things like that. Easy transport. I'll say, but if everything else is divided, 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 Plants. Nice uh, plant there for like a centerpiece there. On that, they're going to be out say 20 pounds. You divide, you divide, you divide me 10, 10 dollars. You're going to be out 10, 5 dollars for the plant. Five, you can't kill that one if you don't have a green thumb. Five, you divide, 5 dollars, and divide, 5 dollars. How about 3 dollars for it? 3 and 4. Did he bid now 4? Did he bid now 4? Did he bid now 4? 4 now 4. 3 dollars in, but 2 0, 2 0. 38, Three chairs, so you got four pieces. Set. Look at the size of that board, too. You just put a lot of people there. Yeah. All right, on that, today, a hundred dollars for a hundred dollars for a hundred dollars for a city five, city five, and eight. Fifty, you've been never written out for divide, so divide, you divide, you divide, you divide. How about ten dollars for the set? You got a kid in college or something like that. You got to furnish furniture. There you go. Ten dollars in the bill, ten, ten dollars in the bill, ten. One shot, five bucks. Nobody five, five and ten, five, seven, 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 five and seven dollars. Five dollars there. What's your number? Well. <laughs> seven zero two seven seventy twenty seven. We have this angled little bench. Angled bench there. Uh, I don't think you got one with the 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 one with 
Yeah. 7025. We have the Chippendale style mirror. Bevel oh, glass, wow. bevel glass mirror. Titled Paradox, and it won the Milson, the Miller Wilson Award, and it was from the collection of Springfield College, which is up in Massachusetts. Memory serves me right. Who give a twenty-five dollar bill? What's the front of that look like? Twenty-five dollar bill. Would you get twenty-five? Would you get twenty-five? Would you get ten? Yeah. Twelve and a half. Yeah. Ten. Twelve and a half. Fifteen. Fifteen. Twelve and a half. Fifteen. Twelve and a half. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Yeah. Sixty-one. Award. Sure. I would like to win an award. Yeah. <laughs> This is just signed, it doesn't have a title. Rosen on the back. Carol Rosen is her name. There you go. Who gives a $25 bet on that one? $25 bet. 10. Yeah. 10. 12 and a half. 10. 12 and a half. 15. Yeah. 17 and a half. 15 to be able to get 17 and a half. $15, number 104. Now we have some wood sculptures that you get. This goes, this is kind of clunky. This goes on top of this. Okay. So this is all one sculpture. Yes, this is really everything here. Is this goes on top of this. It's a big, it's a tall sculpture. Look at a hundred dollar bill of the sculpture. Hundred dollar bill. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to the pictures next. Twenty five. I don't think he's. I think that's going out there. And he enters ten. Yeah. Yeah, 10, 12 and a half. 10 to baby, we can go down, we can go down, we can go down, we can go down. 63. 63. And he's got these two pieces. There's another one. Another wooden sculpture. We've got mold. Wooden sculpture. We'll give $100 out of the amount. $100 out of the amount. 50. 50. We'll give 50. We'll give 25. 25, we get 25, 25, 25, 10. Yeah, he ain't gonna 10, get me again. 10 to be able to get 12 and a half, we get 12 and a half, 10, we get 12 and a half, 10, we get 12 and a half. My pen died. $10, number 104. Now we're gonna sell some regular photo collages here. All by Carol Rosen. Yeah, right, let's see what we can get. Inside. You got the other two pieces, both yours. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna put these down there. Can I use the table for a few minutes? Sure. Yeah, we're not using it yet. You're the best. $25 Say hi. Five on that one. Five, seven and a half. Five, the baby, what do you get? Seven and a half, what do you get? Seven and a half, what do you get? Seven and a half. I think I'm going to take these to the trunk. This goes with that. This is signed Carol Rosen. The title will be back. Seven and a half, number two. 
my next magic trick we're back again normally I do my wrap up the same day as the auction but um, today is the day after and I wanted to do a little research on the items that I did purchase because they're a little bit out of the, my normal wheelhouse of what I actually buy um, there was an artist that they were selling the estate for she was a local artist she has since passed away and she has been doing artwork her entire life. She was doing primitive sculptures, she was doing collages, and I bought a couple key pieces from her collection that I think I can do well with. Like I said, I'm only in for 50 bucks. So what we're gonna do is I think we're probably gonna start at the beginning, and I'll show you the one thing that we did pick up that is not from the estate, and that was this little jewelry box. I think I paid two bucks for it. Um, it's a lacquered finish. It's got the neat little shine to it. There was a sticker on the bottom, but somebody scratched it off. That was. But anyway, I think I paid two bucks for it. I'll throw it in the booth for, you know, 12, 15 bucks. And that should go rather quickly. Jewelry boxes do well. Um, if you look in the description, of the video um, you will see the link of the YouTube video that I found for this artist her name is Carol Rosen and we're gonna start with the earliest piece that I think I bought which is one of her early collages this sculpture is probably six foot tall actually here you know what I'm gonna stand next to it and you can tell that it's as tall as me and I'm like five foot eleven so it's a little over six feet tall um, it does come apart it has five different pieces you can see how it separates on these little dowels all the pieces are numbered there is a signature here somewhere they showed me where it was and I don't remember where it is but basically this is one of her earlier pieces 
You see those look like old boot brushes. They could probably be pretty old in themselves. This kind of looks like a pendulum with some nails in there. And then you have this little metal plate that has like a bunch of different little odds and ends into it. There's a nail. Kind of a different look to it. Um, I paid 10 bucks for this. Um, this was, like I said, this was one of the earlier pieces that she did. Then she moved on to this one, which is a collage, an earlier collage. And this was actually, if you look on the backs, it, I think it's called Paradox. Carol Rosen Paradox, Mil Miller Wil Wilson awarded Springfield College. So this must have been in her college years. So that one is a little bit older. I believe she was in her late 70s. I'm not sure. She might even have been in her 80s when she passed. Now, the next ones have some images that are a little more uh, thought-provoking. Let's call it that. Um, this is a family channel. There's no nudity. There's none of that. But um, basically what she did is she toured Eastern and Western Europe, or, or she toured Europe, basically the entire Europe. She went to some of the concentration camp sites and um, photographed a lot of the, you know, they had like walls and displays and stuff. And she photographed a lot of that. And when she came home, she made collages from those pictures as well as other stuff that she had seen. So it's, it's very poignant and it was very important to her. Now she had built, she had made quite a few of these and she had turned them over to the Smithsonian. I think they chose like three to five of them that actually made it into the Smithsonian. I doubt any of these are those three to five. I'm sure the family has those, but these are the ones that she, she also did submit these. So this one is called One Doesn't Die of Guilt. You can see it's all pictures of prisoners you know this one's a, a pretty good size one here um, like I said you can see the collage work that she did I don't know how good this is coming up with the reflection that I have behind me and this one is they had a system you could see the soldiers in the bottom and some of the markings from the places that she's been uh, facing the abyss. This one's a little more It's a picture of a, a lone man um, We picked up these two This one you'll probably see a little better So Picked up that one and this smaller one here is a good one to give you an example of how well they were done this one is probably my favorite this one is called winter shroud and as you can see it has carol rosen 18 by 14 photo collage they are all pencil signed by the artist which is important but i think i like that one the best it's got the soldiers in the snow um, so yeah, that's what we picked up. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I have two options. Um, the earlier collages and the earlier statue, the sculpture is going to go in the booth, uh, with a, a write-up. I might even print out the, uh, the artist information and pass that along when the people buy it. And the other ones, the collages of the Holocaust pictures, I may take them down to, uh, there's a town nearby in Pennsylvania with a lot of higher end art shops, a lot of higher end galleries, and perhaps they might be interested in purchasing them. I don't know yet. I have no idea. I 
could be forking up the wrong tree i could have hit a jackpot like i said this is totally out of my wheelhouse i have no clue about art art to me is a sparkly bass boat and a big deer head on your wall like i said i'm a redneck so anyway that's going to wrap it up for this episode of auction life if you have any comments or any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i try and answer as many uh, i try to like and you know at least acknowledge as many as i can um i've had if you also notice there's no cicadas i mean they're out there but they're not as loud as they were before so at least that season's over i'm gonna go put all these away I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, this is a weird situation for me. This is probably the first video I have done where me doing a um, stupid dad joke kind of seems weird, given the subject matter of what I picked up and what I found out. So I haven't really had time to think of one. I'm going to kind of wing it, and I think I have one. I don't even know if I used this one before, but hey, we're already a year into videos. There, there's bound to be a duplicate once or twice. So, here is my stupid dad joke for part two of this series. And it is this. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Oh, the food is fan is fantastic, but there's no atmosphere. Thanks for watching. Keep living that auction life. See you next time. Have a good day. What else can I say? I'm not going to do the salute and the peace thing. Leave that for my buddy. But I am going to say bye. <laughs>